Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hi, Calvary, Amber here. Today we're looking at Psalm 93. And this Psalm describes how the Lord reigns. And it says, the Lord reigns. He is robed in majesty. The Lord is robed. He has put on strength as his belt. Yes, the world is established. It shall never be moved. Your throne is established from of old. You are from everlasting. The floods have lifted up, O Lord. The floods have lifted up their voice. The floods lift up their roaring, mightier than the thunders of many waters, mightier than the waves of the sea. The Lord on high is mighty. Your decrees are very trustworthy. Holiness befits your house, O Lord, forevermore. This psalm is declaring that God is king. It describes God as everlasting, as eternal. He is mighty, he is trustworthy, and he is robed in majesty. See, if God reigns over all the earth, over all of creation, and God is your king, which means you have made a personal commitment to follow Jesus for the rest of your life, that you believe that Jesus is the Son of God, the Savior of the world, that he came down to earth and lived a perfect and sinless life, that he died on the cross to pay for your sins, that he was buried and rose three days later and you've committed your life to following him, then he is king. And if God is reigning over all creation and over your life, it should change how we view the world and how we live in it. See, it says in verse one, the world is established, it shall never be moved. And this is so good and so comforting and brings us so much hope because God created the world, he established it and nothing is gonna move it unless God decides to move it. See, God is reigning and he is in control over all history, over all life, um, and that's good. And he is in control over what happens in this world. And that should bring us hope and comfort and peace because we don't have to worry about what's gonna happen because God is in control of all of it. And see, if we understand God is reigning, then we can have peace about what's going on in the world and what's going on in our own life because we can trust that he is good, he is mighty, and he is reigning and, and loves us. See, God who created everything loves us passionately, which is why he sent Jesus to save us. And he cares about what's going on in this world. He just didn't create the world and leave it. He's actively reigning over it and is involved in everything that's going on. And this Psalm closes and says, your decrees are trustworthy. See, God is trustworthy and he is good. And if God is our King, and he's holy, and he's trustworthy and good, then we can follow him fully. And this should change our life. This should change our life because if we believe God is our king, we should fully surrender and follow his ways because his ways are good and righteous and pure and trustworthy, and they're gonna bless our life. See, our ways are selfish and are gonna lead to destruction and pain for our own life. But see, God is king. And if there's a king, then there's subjects, and those subjects should follow what the king says. And it's the same way with us in our own life. God is our king. We should follow him and do what he says. And this is not to earn salvation or to earn God's favor. That's not what this is talking about. This is recognizing that God is our savior, that he loves us, and nothing that we can do or not do will change his love for you. His love is complete and full for you right now, just the way you are. But following him, his way, is about saying, God has saved me and he loves me. And because I love him, I want to follow in obedience and experience his blessing to the fullness. So, do you believe and do you act like God is your king? And today, will you trust God? Will you trust God to follow his ways for your life and see how he blesses it and change your life? And will you praise God for he is King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Have a great day, Calvary.